In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the revered intercession of St. Hedwig may bring us heavenly aid, just as her wonderful life is an example of humility for all, through our Lord Jesus Christ, her Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory. We who first hoped in Christ, in him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed Blessed the people the Lord Lord has chosen chosen to be his own. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise him for the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-string lyre chant his praise. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord the earth is full. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless the nation whose God is, who God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Bless the people the Lord has chosen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the leaven, that is, the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have been all counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Mary, uh, Margaret Mary Alacoque, Uh, She had the great vision of the sacred heart of Jesus. Uh, But it's also the feast of St. Hedwig, and uh, I'm pretty sure that the sisters who I say help mom raise me, help mom and dad raise me, uh, are watching live stream right now. Um, They actually live across the street from my home parish, St. Maria Goretti, the parish that my parents helped start, 
and I think it's the biggest parish now in the diocese. But anyway, before COVID hit, I was going over there for Sunday Masses and offering that in their dining room. And so I miss you guys dearly, Sister Jacqueline, Sister Ignatius, and Sister Hedwig. Happy Feast Day, Sister Hedwig. Today is another act of God's providence. So here we have the reading where nothing escapes the notice of God. What has been hidden will be revealed. And this is the day after a major, major expose of corruption of one of the presidential candidates. And it's not only revealing that that happened, but it's also further revealing the corruption of the propaganda machine at work in our country. I was saying, you know, I'm somewhat of a history buff. At least I pay attention to it. There's probably greater historians out there than me. But the propaganda that was going on in 1930s, okay, in Germany, of course, in Russia, pales in comparison, it seems, to what's going on today. That every message is being massaged, okay? And things are being reported that oftentimes are just bold-faced lies. And other things that are the truth are not allowed to be reported. And so this breaking news that happened was tamped down by a very, very, very corrupt media, big tech giants. And it's further indication to all of us, you know, this is the hand that you and I have been dealt in these times. Again, we are facing a make or break moment. Now, what is it, 16 days away, whatever it is, before either this kind of corruption is allowed in, okay, or we continue to grow and prosper as a country that is the envy of the world. Yes, it's not perfect, and we are, you know, tapping out those dents in the fender, right, those ways in which we need to improve. And we've been doing that for all of our history, you know, understanding, you know, what we can do to improve and fixing that and moving on. But more than anything else, we've been about doing what is the godly thing to do, right? And so truth, right? Right versus wrong, good versus evil, virtues versus, you know, flat out sin. And so again, we face that make or break. We have one side that believes that as long as the end game is something like control and power, then lying, cheating, and stealing is totally acceptable. Or, you know, manipulating the message, you know, in order to put forth one's agenda is totally acceptable. That's the mindset of what? Of those who have become disconnected from the divine life. Those who are connected to the divine life not only call themselves to ta task on doing the good versus the evil, the right versus the wrong, the truth versus the lies, but if they see it in their own camp, it's, it, they call it out. They, I mean, it's just not allowed. You know, you don't do that. Because why? Because we li we're living, we're striving to live that higher life. And again, I, I, I contend this is the greatest reason among many that we are the envy of the world. Uh, because uh, as long as we're in that place, or as long as we're striving eagerly to live that high life, uh, then there is less crime. There is less corruption. Um, you know, there, there, there is less... Um, uh, con uh, evil control in the leadership. You know, uh, because why? Because we're, we're led by a well-formed conscience. And, and that 
doesn't need uh, to be uh, monitored and, and uh, capped in shack and tamped down. Conversely, you know, if someone has the belief that lying and cheating is stealing is the way to perfection, is the way to leadership, is the way to control. But you, that's a world of chaos. It's a disaster. It's destruction. And what do we know, too? You know, everything that is hidden will be revealed. And this is, uh, I, there's, there's theology and there's certainly scripture stories that back this up. But uh, here's what I see God doing. We're praying, aren't we? We're praying. And, and I, I, we see evil seeming to get away with murder. Okay, get away with, we can call it, that's an old expression, but it applies perfectly here, you know, the whole abortion industry. I mean, right now they're financing the other side with, with millions of dollars that you and I paid for because our taxes are paid for the government who's given them money. They're getting away with murder, right? And, and it's frustrating. We sit here and go, you know, it's, it's not right. You know, we're, we're playing by the rules. You know, we're doing the good versus the evil, the right versus the wrong thing. And they, they seem to be getting, well, not so much. Because here's what happens over and over again. We pray, okay? Remember, God is more powerful than the devil. We pray. And oftentimes, the way that prayer is answered is what just happened on that laptop that was restored or that was found in a repair shop, okay? If you're following that story. All right? The same thing happened in 2016. WikiLeaks emails exposed. All right? And we said, basically, thank you, God, but this is what he does, see? The, those who are caught in that uh, demonic way, right? So there's only two choices. There's God's way or the devil's way. All right? Those who are caught in this way think they, you know, hey, you know, look at what we're getting away with. Hey, we're, and not so much. Because these people over here are not only doing the right thing, they're praying their guts out. And they're believing that God's going to do something. And let me quote from Scripture. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Oftentimes, oftentimes, the answer to your believing prayers is things like that laptop from that repair store. My brothers and sisters, we got to continue to pray with belief. Don't despair. God sees everything. They, they try to bring that across, you know. He sees every, what every sparrow is doing. He knows every hair on your head, the count of every hair on your head. He, he sees everything. He sees these liars, these cheaters. Okay? These thieves are getting away with murder. He sees his precious, beloved children calling out to him. And justice occurs. Okay? He's done it before. He's doing it now. He'll do it again. Believe. Please stand. <clears throat> Let us offer our prayers to the Lord knowing he attends to even the smallest of our concerns. For members of the church throughout the world, may the outpouring of the Spirit sanctify each one of us in our daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are afraid, may God give them peace in the knowledge of his love and concern for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us gathered today, may the love of Christ enfold us and strengthen our confidence and uh, belief in his pr divine providence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be embraced by the love of Jesus and rest in eternal peace. 
And today's Mass is offered for uh, the poor souls in purgatory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we know that we should not be afraid. Hear and answer our prayers according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice which you for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for our compassion for the waywardness that is ours. He humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> to you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Donald our Bishop, and all those who, holding the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. <clears throat> Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel, Gerald John High, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray in all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. We ask you, we, we beseech you, un, we admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, <clears throat> as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with this nourishment, which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers in, of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.
Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls.